Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deuce and Guns. Today, we're gonna be changing out this headlight. Alrighty, step one in replacing the headlight is to get the bezel off so you can free the headlight up. You don't need to open up the uh, hood or anything. It's all done from outside. They're just three screws. There's the bezel, and you could use some TLC. Headlight comes off, and here are the three connectors. They go directly into the back of the headlight. And here's a close-up of the three connectors for the headlight. And as you can see, maybe not, I'm not sure, there are numbers, I'm like going to point out here, there are numbers at the very bottom next to each connector and those correspond with a number on the actual wire so you don't screw it up and they basically just pop out all right let's take a look at it okay well we have the old headlight out you can actually see if you look closely you can see it's kind of burnt out right there and of course this whole octopus of wires coming out the back now these wires, they are permanently attached. This is not like a plug or anything like that. That's, if you were to buy an exact replica headlight for the deuce and a half, it's gonna come like this. It's gonna have the three wires sticking out of it. It's like a squid. Now you can find these. You can go on the internet, you can find the ones with the exact three plug system and everything set up and the numbered wires perfectly ready to go. They're stupid expensive. They're 50, 60 bucks, sometimes even more than that, per headlight. Now, I got on the internet and I found an alternative for, uh, I think I got this for eight bucks. And it's the exact same headlight, as you can, as you can tell, exact same size, everything, except it doesn't have these squirrely wires. It's got a three prong plug but this is a 24 volt uh, setup, just like this is, exact swap. Actually, I think I've heard that these are used on the military Unimogs, but I'm not positive. It's under, it's made by Wagner. Um, I guess a lot of different companies make them. And it's under the number 4800, that's his part number, 4800. I'll put all this description of the parts I'm gonna to use today in the description of the video, so you don't have to pause it and write stuff down. Now, there are a couple ways that you can go about this. You can cut these plugs off and solder each one to the plug here, or I have another solution. And that solution is to go down to your favorite Napa. And again, this is, I'll put a good picture here. Here's a picture of it. And you end up with a three prong socket with the three wires ready to go that perfectly sinks right into your new headlight. Now before I start cutting on things, I want to go check to make sure that the actual plugs are intact inside the truck. Don't want to cut up a headlight if I don't need to. Now per the back of the headlight, these are numbered 16, 17, and 18. 16 should be the ground. 17 should be low beam, 18 should be high beam. So I'm going to go ahead and put my ground in there. And I've got the high beam on right now, so we'll see here. And we have 24.3 volts, that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it over here into the low beam. And of course you can see it is zeroed out. That should be the low beam. And there we go, 24.2. We're good to go. So now is we are certain that it's the headlight that's the issue. So that's what we're going to change out. And now here's an overview of everything we're going to use today. And I just noticed you can see my reflection in the back of that headlight. Here's the old headlight. We're going to use the plugs out the back of that old headlight. Here's a new headlight, of course. Here's the actual plug we got from Napa. We're going to finish everything nicely with some actual 
16 to 14 gauge connectors. Use, of course, some um, stripper slash crimpers. And we're going to make sure everything's waterproof and watertight with some black heat shrink tubing. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to do one wire at a time. So I got my plug here. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to transfer just one wire over at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the far left wire off. Come on, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and strip it. Oh, it's got a whole bunch of protective <laughs> coating on that. If you can see that, interesting. Well, that would be the... There we go. Okay, good deal. Now, go ahead and take a piece of heat shrink tubing, so I don't forget the first thing I do. I'll make sure I can put that on there. I cut that too long, so let me slide that up there correctly. Okay, butt connector is on. There we go. Ah, that's on there really good. And now that was a far left over here, so I'm going to use the far left over here as well. That's the ground. There we go. And all right, so that is in there. You want to test them, of course. We're going to slide our heat shrink tubing over that. And I have a very cheap but effective heat gun. We are now golden. Beautiful. Now I'm going to do the other three. And some quick tips about plugging the connector in and out of the deuce itself. Now, it looks like this whole thing is one big unit, but it is not. You have your wire, and you have the waterproof cover right here. This is all completely separate. So if you're going to plug it, so if you're going to unplug it, you're going to unplug it, you're going to grab the actual waterproof cover, pull that back. Then you want to grab the wire and unplug the wire. If you don't, you're going to end up pulling the plug right off the end of the wire, unfortunately. And vice versa, if you're going to actually plug it back in, you grab the wire, you plug that into the socket, and then you cover the socket and wire all up together with the rubber waterproof cover. Now let's go ahead and plug this in. Alrighty, and I kept, I was very careful with keeping all the numbers on a wire corresponding with the number inside here, so I never have to guess about anything. Simple as you plug it in and you cover it up. And then the last one. And you cover it up. Now we have a socket ready to go ahead and plug in our headlight. Okay, headlight. Plug it in. Good to go. Got my screwdriver and these screws, it's nice, these screws are actually uh, captured inside so it doesn't actually fall out. Nice little addition here. Now I do have a lot more wire than I used to so I'm going to have to pack some things back here. But having too much wire is much better than having not having enough. There we go. I'm going to put this on here. Do a little time lapse I guess. She is burning bright now. Okay, well this concludes the video on changing out the deuce and headlight and modifying the wiring harness 
to accept a much cheaper, much more available alternative to the official deuce and a half headlight. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below the video. And also below the video, there will be in the description all the part numbers and where you can get all the things I use today. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Let's get out of here.